Hey, what up everyone? It's your boy and today we are going to do another video. Something I've never done on this channel before and if you guys like it then maybe you'll see more and if you don't like it, well, I don't know what to tell you. Do something else with your life, alright? Why don't you make something that you like, alright? Do something in this world to make a difference. As you can tell by the title of the video, today is going to be a story time and it is something that I've never done before but I am kind of excited to do because this is a story that I have told people in the past and they were like, Dude, what? Yeah, I figured why not share it with you. So here we go. So a year ago, we had to move churches and the new building that we were moving into, we were like doing renovations and stuff. So I was helping my dad. We had some guys helping us out. We were doing like flooring and we were doing walls and painting this and painting that. First of all, the church building is isolated. Like it's pretty much like in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing really around it. The backyard is literally just just woods and then like the neighborhoods were pretty far out so it wasn't like there was something immediately close by but it's nice i mean we like the open space so it's cool the nursery the bathrooms and then the sanctuary and like the open recession area is like in the first level and then the basement has the classrooms and the cafeteria and the kitchen when you go in to the sanctuary there is like a doorbell if you tap on it it rings to the basement so i guess like when the service would be done or something like somebody could hit the the doorbell and it would like let the people know downstairs that like service was up or i don't know that's just kind of what i was thinking in my head it was used for but basically when you went into the sanctuary there was a doorbell i hope you're like keeping open because i don't know how i am with telling stories i really hope i'm doing a good job if i'm not well i don't know what to tell you That tastes good. So later while we were having lunch, we were down in the cafeteria, right? And we were eating pupusas and it was like going well. We even took a picture together with like my dad and I and all the guys. And we were just chilling, you know, like, oh my God, like we're having a great lunch. Like it's a great time. We're here renovating this church. So as we're all eating, we hear the doorbell, the doorbell go off. The doorbell that's connected from the sanctuary down to the basement. We hear the doorbell. And I look at my dad because I was like, wait, I know I just heard a door, like I just, I heard a doorbell and I look at my dad and he looking at me like, I heard a doorbell, but here's the thing. The other people didn't hear anything. We looked at them and we were like, did you guys hear that? And they were like, hear what? We didn't hear anything. I'm like, you didn't, you didn't hear this doorbell, this loud doorbell, the one that's connected like down here to the sanctuary, like the one that's upstairs, like the one that connects down here. Like, did you not hear when it went off like two seconds ago? Like you didn't hear any of that? And they're like, no, like we didn't hear nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like what? I'm like, bruh. So I look at my dad and I'm like, uh, I heard something like, let me go investigate, right? So stupid. So I'm like, all right, let me go upstairs real quick. I go upstairs and I'm kind of creeped out a little bit because I'm like, there's nobody else in the building. Like, it's just us. We're all downstairs. Like, what the heck? And here's the thing. We were working with the front doors wide open. Like, the, the front door city to the building. It was wide open and it was empty. And then I went over to the sanctuary and I, like, looked around. It, it was empty. It was completely empty. I looked outside. Like, I literally stepped outside. I looked out to the parking and there were no other cars except ours. And then there was nobody else out in the field. And I'm like, what? So I was like, okay, whatever. Maybe it was nothing. I go downstairs and I tell my dad, I'm like, dude, there's nobody up there. Like, that was kind of creepy. And he starts laughing with the other guys and they're like, well, you know, maybe it was like the kids or something like in the neighborhood. Like maybe it was just somebody playing a prank. And I'm like, I mean, yeah, like logically, like I guess it makes sense. Like somebody could have just ran in and tapped the doorbell and then ran out. But it's like, okay, how would you know where that doorbell was? And then we didn't hear any footsteps. Like, it's not like we, like we would have heard, like if it was a kid, I felt like we would have heard the running upstairs and then they would have tapped that and then ran out. You know what I'm saying? They were like, that's probably what happened. So I was like, all right, whatever. Okay, so let's act like I am not filming this video two days later. As I was saying, I tell them this and they're like, it was probably just a prank. And I'm like, highly doubt that, but okay, if you say so. Later on in the evening, after all the guys had left, it was just my dad, my mom and I, we ended up staying and we had dinner together. So we sat again in the cafeteria and this time mom was with us and we're sitting there and we're talking. And then we tell her about the experience, the bell that had rung earlier and basically how none of the other guys had heard it except us and how I went to go check and nobody was there. And mom was just like, 
It's probably just a prank. I was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I was part of this short film that that day the director ended up releasing. I was real excited, so we were talking about that with my parents, and then at this moment is when my mom brings up our pastor. So, as I had mentioned before, the church that we were basically renovating was the new church that we had moved to. Coincidentally, this day happened to be, uh, I believe, the six-month anniversary from when our pastor had passed away. I was dealing with a lot of emotions, and the project that I was part of was something that I felt like he would have been very like very proud of. When our family started going to this church, our pastor always, always approached me. He was just always motivating me. Like this man was always just like, so where's the film? When am I gonna come out in the film? When am I gonna be in the project? Are you gonna put me in it, you know? And there was like this spark that just kind of kept igniting in me, even though I felt like it was fading away. So this day, we're talking about it, and my mom and I were going over like the trailer and the project, and basically about like how much it meant to me that, you know, like, that it, it was released that day like coincidentally and I had no idea that the director chose that day like it was just kind of like out of the blue you know so to me it meant a lot it was something I wish that he would have been there to see like I wish that he was alive to see because it was uh it was a yeah it was just very meaningful we're basically talking about how everything just kind of came together for this project that I was part of and then how it being released that day just had to have some sort of significance or something, you know, like, I don't know. We're sitting there, we eat, you know, and, and we don't hear any noises, like there's no bell that rings this time. We finish dinner and it's time to go home. So we pack up our stuff, mom gets in her car, she's waiting outside, dad is back in the kitchen, like locking some stuff up. And this is where something weird happened. It, it could have been nothing, but it could have been something. So I grab my stuff and I'm ready to go. And like I said, my dad is downstairs and he's like making sure the doors are locked. And so I pretty much make my way up to the front door. I stand in front of where like the stairs to go to the basement are. If I'm standing here, I am facing the stairs to go downstairs, right? Behind me is like the front door and that's to go out to the cars. And then to my left is like a hallway that leads down to like the bathrooms, but there's also a room there. And that is the nursery. So, I'm standing here, right? And I'm waiting for my dad because I'm waiting for him to come up from the basement so that we can lock up and go home because it's been a long day. And I'm talking, I'm like, Dad, yo, bye, hey, yo, where you at? Like, are you coming? What's up? I'm standing there and I kid you not, it felt like a scene from a movie. I was like, bruh. I'm standing here, right? And then I hear from the nursery room, which is all dark because there is a nobody in there there is a toy that goes off and it goes <laughs> what and yes before you ask like a stupid ass i did go investigate i remember turning to look to the nursery and it felt like it was in slow motion like everything everything in the room is pitch black because there's absolutely nobody in there and like what I was a little bit freaked out because I was like, why did this toy just go off like that? Like that has not ever happened since we've been here. I was just like, something is a little bit off here, but it might just be me. I start walking <laughs> towards the nursery and I, oh my God, I was like, this is not happening. I did not literally just hear a toy laugh and say i see you <laughs> that's not that's that's not what is happening right i walk into the nursery room and i'm like where where did this come from what's happening like what did i what did i do like what did i do what did i do you know what i'm saying like what did i do to deserve this i make my way to a crib there's a crib in the nursery i think there are like two cribs in there one of the cribs had a teddy bear in it just just lying there just like in the center of the bed and what i do yeah i picked it up <laughs> i pick up the teddy bear and it's one of those like where in the tummy area like you can squeeze it and it talks i squeeze the teddy bear and the phrase that comes out of this teddy bear is not what it had said earlier when i was standing out in the hallway I think I squeezed that teddy bear about five different times and it did not say the same saying that it had said when I was standing out there. 
I put down the teddy bear and I was like, you know what? I ran out of there. I was like, um, no, thank you. I get back to where the stairs are and my dad comes up and I tell him what just happened. And I'm like, you know what, dad? I'm going to go wait in my car. You can lock up, but I'm out. I went to my car and then he locked up and he said that he went to the nursery and that there was nothing there and that there was no toy talking, that he didn't hear anything. I was like, okay, cool. I might've been crazy. Maybe I was hearing things. Maybe it was something. Maybe it was nothing. I don't know. It was an experience that I still think about to this day because it genuinely freaked me out. I heard the doorbell and then I heard the toy talk and there was nobody there. That makes no sense. And this is an old building and my hair is a mess. That was basically what happened. Um, I don't know if anybody else has had any experiences in that building. I have to ask around and find out, but I know that it was creepy. So, some of I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want some more, hit that subscribe button or that like button, or actually, and that like button. You gotta do all of it. And then you also gotta like leave a comment or something. If you've had any experiences, let me know. Actually, I don't really care. Actually, I do. I want to read them if you have comments. <laughs> that was a sort of, I guess, scary paranormal-ish experience um, that I've had. And it was not as creepy as the sleep paralysis story. So that will be for another time. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Do whatever you want. I don't really care. It's your boy here signing off. Stay golden. <laughs> Thank you.